good old Los Angeles. Where the sun shines whenever it don't rain. Come on, Jeff, let's get to Gus's. And don't let that sunshine fool you. Hey, we're due there right now. Okay, Pete, can I help it if I feel good? Hey, where's the driver? Right here. Where to? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, what are you saying? What do you mean, sing? Sing. No! You know, boys. Baritone. Sorry, old boy, no good. Come on, Pete. Where's you, fellas? Uh, hey, just a minute, you sing? Uh, like a bird, Timmy. That's for us. No Buffalo gals? I know all of them. Gus is the original number one cafe. Gotcha. Get in. She have a dance, have a dance, have a dance. Thought that I might get a chance to shake a foot with her. Oh, Buffalo Gas, can't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Buffalo Gas, can't you come out tonight? Dance by the light of the moon. Down the street, down the street, down the street. Beautiful gal I chance to meet. Oh, she was good to view. Look out! Hey, that last chorus was terrific. Come on, let's take it again. Oh, Buffalo gals, can't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Buffalo gals, can't you come out tonight? And dance like the night of the moon. Now, boy, keep it up. You got a half a buck of chorus. Are you sure you know where you're going? Just because I've been away for two years, I could find it with my eyes shut. That's what I'm afraid of. Keep them open. Good old Gus. How is the old Grizzly anyway? Well, you get there. Has he got a surprise for you? Yeah, what? Never mind. It's a good thing you got back when you did or you'd have missed it. Hey, not here. Let's fly. Hey, come. You're going into a one-way street, the wrong way. One-way street. Oh, Back up. Hey, come. I will get off at the next block. Get over here, some more. Hey, what's the matter? Excuse me, please. Let me through. Oh, nobody's hurt, I hope. Hey. Hey, you crazy cop! The streets ain't big enough for you. What's the matter? We're driving down a one-way street. I'll take care of it. That's all right, officer. Lock him up. All right. Come on, you guys. Come on, get out. Smashing up on my wrist under this way. I, I ordered to break it. Down. Jeff. Jeff. Hi, it does. Hi. What happened? Seems like they crashed the party. All right. Come on, you guys. Jeff Lundy. You know him? I'm He's taking you down. Take a hold down. Hey, these are my friends, American. They don't mean nothing. You mean you don't want me to arrest them? What for? They make a little mistake. Uh, you don't ever make mistake? Uh, sure, yes, but uh, uh, what about this damage? Oh, absolutely, never mind. <laughs> I'm closing up this place tomorrow anyway. I lose my lease. They're going to make this place into skyscrapers. And they're going to tear down building anyway. The boys just give them a good start, that's all. <laughs> Here, Mac, uh, have a cigar. Isn't nobody hurt? Everything's fine. Well, uh, if it's OK with you, Gus, I, I guess it's OK with me, but Thanks. I gotta make out a report. Sure, report. Where's the driver of this cab? Uh, the driver's in the back. Oh. I know. You only did it for a joke. <laughs> Jeff, you son of a gun. Where you come from? Louisiana. I just got off the plane a couple of hours ago. You come just in the time. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is my friend Jeff. He's been drilling oil wells in Louisiana. Best oil man in the whole business. Hey, Pete? Go on, next to me, Gus. <laughs> All right, everybody, go on, eat, have a good time, eat. Uh, yeah, but come on, let's sit down. I want to talk to you. Now, what are you, what are you going to do now, Jeff, eh? What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to go up to Ponca Springs with Pete and help him sink a couple of wells. How you like that? <laughs> that Pete, he makes the tricks like a magician. What do you mean? Me? I'm going to Ponca Springs, too. Pete talks me into it. You mean you're going to be a roughneck? No, open restaurants. <laughs> I lose my lease here. Pete says Poker Springs is boom towns. People are rushing in from everywhere to get some oil gravy. See? Yeah. So? So I'm a closing up original gust number one in here and open up original gust number two there. And uh, I get on the uh, uh, gravy boat. Well, that's pretty smart, Gus. Yeah, you bet your life. <laughs> I got ideas in my brains I ain't never used yet. <laughs> For instance, I'm going to serve a hot foods to the drillers right on the job. 
from a drugs. How you like that? We're gonna love that. <laughs> hey, what you think? This party is my goodbye. Uh, Everything. <clears throat> What uh, would you gentlemen care to partake of? Uh, how you doing, Senator? Fine, that's just fine. <laughs> They're going to have the work, Senator. The first to bring a bottle, my best vino. Vino. What kind of a waiter is that? Uh, that state Senator Prentice, if he's elected. Uh, one of my best customers. <laughs> Today is a different, see? For many years, the help are waiting on the customers. But this party, the customers are waiting on the help. And uh, vice versa. Gus, you're just as crazy as ever. <laughs> Boys. Ponca Springs and a new life for all of us. I drink to that. You bet your life. So this is a big surprise, huh, Pete? Well, that's part of it. You don't tell him? I was afraid the shock would be too great for him, Gus. What do you mean? You mean there's more? <laughs> ah, this is going to kill you. <laughs> uh, he's going to knock your eyes out. Gus is uh, going to get married. I think... You better give me that again. I'm going to get married. What's wrong with that? No, I just don't believe it, that's all. Yeah, I'm taking a wife to Ponca Springs. We're going to have a restaurant, and we're going to have a kid. So maybe uh, one, uh, two, uh, three. Go on, who'd marry you? Yeah. <laughs> you just wait and see. You want to be surprised. <laughs> I better go see how the food is coming along. I'll be right back. Don't worry. Is he on the level? Listen, Jeff. This is the greatest thing in the world that ever happened to the guy. Don't kid him too much about it. Okay. Well, I think I'll look around. Yeah. I'll have one, too. That makes three. Come on, we'll get it ourselves. <laughs> Terribly sorry. Well, why don't you... Why don't you join the party? Huh? Might be a bad idea. You seem to be pretty good at crashing. Um, say this for me, will you? Coming back? Yeah, if I don't claim it in 30 days, keep it. And please have the truck for the dishes and kitchen equipment here by 9 o'clock, because we want to lock up the place by noon. Yes, of course, the stove goes, too. All right, goodbye. Hello, Betty. Still working here, huh? Hello, Jeff. Hello, is that all you got to say? Do you realize it's been two years since I saw you? And honey, let me tell you, those southern bells... I know, they... Jeff, they ain't got nothing on me. Well, now, just because I didn't write, don't think... I'm very busy, Jeff. Now, what kind of an act is that? At least you could welcome me back with the kids. Hey, Betty, you know who's just to come in? Yes, Gus, I know. Hey, it's so wonderful. My friend come just in time for celebration. Fine, Gus. <laughs> oh, Jeff. You're slipping, old boy. You've been here five minutes and still stagging it? Well, I'm just getting my land laid. <laughs> hey, so you saw Betty, huh? Hey, she's a wonderful kid. <laughs> yeah, she told you, huh? Ah, after all these years, she's finally going to be Mrs. Gus. Betty. <laughs> sure. <laughs> hey, you're surprised, huh? I'm surprised, too. When she says yes, I almost fall flat on my head. Gonna take her to Ponca with you? How else are we gonna get married? They're building for me a big house there. As soon as she is finished, we're gonna have a big wedding. It's gonna be terrific, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> you betcha. Imagine, old duck like me getting a beautiful young wife like Betty. <laughs> hey, hold your plate, Pete. All right, boys, we're coming out with a nine. Nine, nine, nine. 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 fifteen. Oh, you got a bed. You want to get in? Do you want to? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for luck, the touch of your cheek. Oh, Hugo. <laughs> you go. And enough. Eight of them to carry. Eight of them. Just Five throw up one more Five. year, boys. Here come we go. on. Five more. Five. Number six. 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 Seven. Now, come on, ladies. Oh, oh go, 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 go. Oh, I... Oh, Betty. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, there's my daughter, Betty. Uh, how do you do? I think you know everyone, darling. What are you doing? Uh, well, uh, we were having a very interesting discussion, darling, on ivory. And I borrowed this gentleman's uh, to illustrate. Um, I was saying that we owe this commodity to the elephant, of course. What was your point? Uh, nine. Uh, the nine virtues of the elephant. Oh, whose money is this? Half it belongs to me here. Wait a minute, I had to... Uh, yeah, but you borrowed that from me. Yeah, I borrowed it. Mm, that's right. Now, if you'll please excuse us. 
Sorry. We can take a hint. Let's get oh, out of here. How do you like that? Give me the dice. I'll see you later, girls. Yeah, and boys. Yeah. Yeah. This morning, Gus tore up the IOUs for all the money you owe him, and you promised... Now, now, darling, I promised I wouldn't gamble in Ponca Springs. After he's been so kind to you, feeding you and giving you money, not expecting a thing in return, and then you break your promise before we leave. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, darling, and I, I'll never do it again. I, I just happened to walk in, and the game was... I, I don't mean to be a worry to you, sweet. I... I know I've given you a tough time, but now you've got a fine, strong man to take care of you. And from now on, you're not going to have any more worries with me. Because when I get up to the oil fields, I'm going to get a job and go to work. No, I will. I will. I'm going to work with these hands, and you'll be proud of your pop. I know I will. Now go on out there and have a good time. All right. Oh, darling, you don't mind if I have a... Uh, uh, hmm? Well, after all, it is a celebration. Ah, oh, my girl said that. Thank you, darling. Mindy, where did you drop from? Hello, Hugo. I just got in today. Is, oh. is Betty in there? Uh, Betty, yes, she's right in there. Oh, thanks. Right. So you're going to marry Gus, huh? That's right. Betty, you can't. I can't? Why? Because he's older than I am, because he doesn't speak good English. He's the finest man I've ever known. But, but Betty, And look. he marries his girls, Jeff. He doesn't just kid around with them and kiss them goodbye and forget them. What did you expect me to do? Settle down on a flat and raise kids? No. Because you had to move around, do big things, sink oil wells all over the world. We'll keep on sinking. Yeah, that's right. Why did you have to come back tonight? You should have known better. I didn't know anything about it. If I had, you I should have. still have time. What are you standing here talking to me for? Well, it's Gus. Betty, you aren't in love with him. You would know. You're just tired of taking the bumps for that old man of yours. You want a meal ticket for him and you. You don't want a husband. Stop it. Gus is one of the greatest guys in the world. You won't stick with him. You'll break his heart. If I wasn't going to marry him before, I'd marry him now just because you don't like it. Betty, listen. Ah, here she is. Here comes my little chicken of pie. Ha <laughs> ha. Betty. <laughs> Uh, quiet, everybody, quiet. I'm going to make a toast. Hey, hey, where's the Jeff? Where's my boy Jeff? Somebody find the Jeff. Jeff, we're all waiting to drink the toast. Hey. Here's it to me, Gus, the most luckiest man in the whole world. And my little bride, Betty. Good help. <laughs> He's wonderful, is he? Yeah. I hope you'll be very happy. <laughs> Good thing you meet us, because if you don't, I'm sure we got lost. No, no, you wouldn't, Gus. Punk is straight ahead, uh, right on the other side of the oil field. It's wonderful day to come to new home, eh, Betty? Holy Jopanacratas. Look. Betty, look what's growing up here. Hey, Pete, all these things are pumping oil? And we're bringing in new wells every week. Yeah, it's quite a field. I should tell you. A while back, it was a dead field, pumped dry years ago. Then we decided to try drilling below the original oil level and found the whole new pool. Pete, I take my hat off to you. It's wonderful, this country. There's no more land for spreading out. That don't stop Americans. When they can't go east or west, they go straight down. <laughs> See? That's about it. Julia. Hey, is that where you work? Gee, that's a dangerous. Makes me dizzy just to look up. Oh, it's not so bad when you get used to it. Ah, uh, you dizzy anyway. Well, I'm gonna leave you here. 
Oh, just keep right on this road. You can't miss. Ah, uh, thanks, Pete. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm so excited. I got pigeons in my stomach. How about you, Hugo? What do you say? Hey, Hugo. <laughs> Oh, I'll just take my straight, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, Jeff. How are you? How are you? <laughs> now, Ma, don't throw that thing now. Don't say, oh, my goodness. You lazy coyote, you get your clothes on and get them chores done. Are you Mrs. Uh, Hawkins? I'm Ma Hawkins, and that's my husband. Lazy earn a garter snake in July. Sleeps all day, eats, sleeps again. Between sleeping and eating, he gets lazier and lazier. Oh, uh, you the new folks that's opening the cafe? Yeah, that's me, Gus Petrokios. Pete Wright tell us you can take us in till I get my house built. Well, I'm crowded as a can of sardines, but I'll put you up somewhere. So come on in. Thank you. Oh, my dear lady, those are too heavy for you. Allow me. Oh, that's mighty kind of you. Well, I'm a slave to beauty, madam. Mm. <clears throat> Just call me Ma. Certainly. After you, Ma. <laughs> Thank you. What a charming home you have here. Well, ain't bad, ain't bad. <laughs> now, Mr. Uh, Kropolis. Uh, Petrokios. Yeah, uh, your room is the second door to the right. Oh, thank you. And you can bunk with me in here. You'll have to sleep with Mole Man. I won't charge you hardly nothing for it. You won't get much sleep. He snores. Oh, <laughs> Next to the last door, down the hall. Thank you very much. Now, come on in with me. Right You bunk over there, dearie. I'll get you some linens. It's not so bad. <laughs> sure, baby. But it's not like our house. Tomorrow we go to see how near to finish is our little love's nest, eh? Uh. Gus, you'll be right back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're down at the end of the hall. Get. It's okay, ma. We're gonna get married. Well, you ain't married yet, are you? Well, until you are, get out. <laughs> Let the girl get comfy. You're right. She's probably tired. Yeah, get. You certainly have a way with men. Got to treat them like mules. If you gentle them, they get lazy on you. But give them a crack of the whip, and they work fine. Come on, give me a hand here. Does um, Jeff Lundy stay here? Well, he better not stay no place else. You know Jeff? Yes. <laughs> There's a chunk of man for you. <laughs> I was just a few years younger. <clears throat> he's been staying with me ever since he's been in the oil drilling business. Every time I had a boarding house anywhere near the field. Them roughnecks all follow them jobs like that. They got oil in the veins. I guess you're right. You got a chunk of man, too. That, uh, uh, cr uh cr Gus. Gus. Here. Yeah. Uh, getting hitched, huh? That's right. Well, I don't go in much for a girl marrying so much older than herself. But I guess you know your own business. And don't tell me to mind mine, because that's one thing I never do. <laughs> I'll get you some pillars. Oh! I am all how's my sweetheart? Let go of me. Well, I thought you were more. I'll bet you did. Smallest come on, I thought maybe. All right, so you made a mistake. Will you please leave now? I have work to do. What are you doing? Still have time to change your mind. About Gus, I mean. It's going to be great having you around here all the time. Yeah, well, don't worry, I'll move. I'll bunk with Pete. And if Gus asks why, you can explain. Come and get it! Boss is here and it's hot! Hello, Gus, right on time. What kind of menu, Gus? He beans? Yeah, of course they find it. Smells pretty good, Gus. All right, take it easy, you hungry wolves. I don't know what you guys do before I come here. Hey, look up now. Hey, hold it. The cops. For the cops. All right, smoky thing here. Hey, Gus, Gus. Hoover. You got something for an ancient wolf? 
<laughs> Working hard will give you appetite, huh? Oh, it sure does, but I'm too tired to chew. <laughs> we fix you up. Hey, hey, plate for Hugo. That's it, there. Oh, thank you, Jack. Very uh, sure proud of her, Papa. Working fresh outdoors, it do something to you, huh? It certainly does. I ache in places I didn't even know I had. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Gus. Hey, Pete. How's business? Ah, oh, too much is enough. Hey, plate for Pete. Here you are, Pete. Thanks. What's the matter? Looking for Jack? Yeah. Where'd that crazy guy been hiding himself? He moved out of Ma's house. Oh, he... He's the on that night shift, Gus, you know. Didn't want to be waking everyone up. Hi, Gus. How about a beef sandwich and a bottle of milk? Sure, did you? A beef sandwich and a bottle of milk. That's no excuse me. One reason I come up here is to be with my friends, ain't it? Pete got time to see me, but you don't. I'm oh, sorry, Gus. I thought maybe you'd be pretty busy, too, you know, what with Betty and all. So... Oh, you talk plain foolish. You don't know my Betty. She wants I should be happy, don't you? How am I going to be happy if I don't see my best friends? Hey, how about tonight? You and me and the Pete. The real got together like old times, huh? Okay, Gus, I'll see you tonight. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's a my Jim. <laughs> you got to take care of yourself. All work and no playing around. Makes you no good. Hey, Pete? <laughs> That's right, Gus. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Don't waste now, everybody. Hey, here's lots of beans. Well, you clean me out. Yeah, I gotta get up early Hello, Newt. Hello, Mr. Hawkins. How about you? Not a game of chance. Mm-hmm. Do you indulge? Uh, uh, well, I dabble. You, you want to sit in? Well, I think later, perhaps. <coughs> <coughs> Hi, boys. Hello, oh, Gus. Hey, Hugo. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, well, as a matter of fact... Oh, uh, Hugo wanted to shoot a little pinball. Yeah, he says they have some very nice machines here. Okay, you've been a good boy. The bar's over there. You have a bar here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you want a soda? Uh, well, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, rotation or call shot? Call shot. 25 points, and I spot you each five, okay? Oh, brother. Well, we beat the pants off of you. Uh, you break. All right, I'll break. Oh, boy, what a break. You set him up for me. <laughs> That's the one. Now fourth position. That new restaurant's okay. And myself a slice of roast beef, that thing. Gotta try it. And that gal behind the cash register. Where do you get a load of that? Good looking and brother is she built. Betty's her name. I suppose you think she'd go for you. Why not? Those waitresses always go for my line. Please, do please. Hey, where are you going? Hey, you need to cool down. Stop your killing. Talk about my Betty. Say bad things. I was only joking. I didn't know she was your gal. Sure, Gus. I was only kidding. He didn't mean anything. You know, it don't hurt to fly. But when he talked that way about Betty, everything got red in my brains. I guess Gus just big fool about his Betty. Hey, Jeff? Yeah, Gus. Just a big fool. He almost busted my neck. He's strong as a bull. You better put a bridle on that temper, Gus. Someday you'll kill somebody. Yeah. I guess he don't mean nothing. Okay, fella. You're sorry. I'm sorry. I sure am sorry. Come on, Al, I'll buy you a drink. It's your shot, Gus. And another double soda light on the nutmeg. The bar is closed. <laughs> the bar, oh my, the bar is closed. All right. Come on, come on. Wait a minute now, wait a minute, just a minute now. Don't, don't get excited. <clears throat> do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pass. Say, what is this, a peep show? No, it's not a peep show. Are you I, in for the raise or not? I am definitely in for the raise. There you are. 
That's not enough. That's not enough. Hey, there we are. That's enough. I call you. What do you got? What do you got? My friend, there you see a beautiful little straight eight, nine, ten jack wheel. Quink, quink. Quink, quink. Take it easy. Huh? King full. A king? <laughs> a king full. Why don't you two guys go home and sleep it off? Friend Joel, I realize now that physical labor does not make for nimble fingers. I'm out of pocket. <coughs> Joan, we are tapped. The very devil is in the cards tonight. Gentlemen, we bid you good night. Anytime you want a game, let me know. I guess I Good night, boys. Good night. Good night, old friend. Oh, beautiful river. Oh, how I am right. Oh, beautiful We made it. Come on up here, climb up here and finish this thing, will you? I'm about all tuckered out. You stay up there and get it finished. I got the order to do. Uh, hey, Betty! Oh, honey, you ought to know better than that. Don't ever walk under a ladder. Don't you know that brings bad luck? I'm not superstitious. Me neither. I had my bad luck. Nah, Ma, you know you're crazy about me. <laughs> How do you like the decorations? Very nice. Oh! What's the matter? Nervous? 
It must be. I felt the same way on my wedding day. Thought Joel would never show up. Finally, he had to go down in the mine where he was hiding and drag him right up to the minister's. <laughs> Joel's always been shy. Oh, sure. <laughs> I must hurry if I'm to have those lunches ready by noon. What time is Gus coming back? It was on the 7.30 train, he said. I don't know why he had to go all the way to Los Angeles. Preacher Mullins right in San Julian can tie a knot that'll hold as tight as anybody's. Gus is very loyal to old friends. You're telling me. <laughs> Thought he'd blow his head off when Jeff said he wouldn't stand up for him. But he convinced him. Hey, Ma, Ma, don't go under there. Bet it. Oh, confound it. All right, all right. If you want bad luck, you're asking for it. Women are so confounded stubborn. My gracious. I haven't got the brain of a, of a gopher. <clears throat> I told you it'd bring bad luck. Hey, Denton. What? I want to see you. Oh, well, I... Go ahead. Thanks for a couple of minutes. Well, don't you think we'd better... That's hear... okay. I'll keep busy, Hugo. Go ahead. Thank you. Right. Hello, Jim. What about that dough? Oh, you'll get it on my honor. I wouldn't give you two cents for your honor. When I win, I expect to get paid. Well, you've got my IOUs. They're good as gold. I can't buy nothing with those. I'm taking them to that son-in-law of yours. He'll pay off. Oh, no, wait a minute. Don't do that, will you? Because my daughter, see, I, I promised her. I'll tell you what you do. Give me two hours. I'll, I'll see her, and I'm, I'm sure I can arrange it. All right. I'll be waiting for you right after lunch. Yeah, right after lunch. You get that money. Yeah, well, I'll... I'll thank you, uh, you. Darling, how are you? What do we got today? Roast lamb? Yes, cooked it myself. Well, right, then I know it's the best. Uh, you know, funny thing, Betty, I, I've been feeling awful sad today. You too, Pop. Uh, I've been feeling low all morning. I ought to be the happiest girl in the world. Well, I ought to be happy too. Here's my only offspring getting married tonight. I haven't got enough money to buy her a decent wedding present. You gave me a present, those curtains. Oh, I mean, get you something substantial. Well, you know, that isn't necessary. Yeah, but I'd feel better if I could. I'd, I'd... Darling, could you let me have $75 for about three weeks? 75 Pop! Where could you buy a present today, anyhow? Why, well, Ponka Spring, old San Julian, you they got You haven't been some... playing cards again, have you? No, if you have... Daddy, wait a minute. Look at those hands. Look like I've been playing cards. That's dirt and blisters. Oh, I'm sorry. Pop, you have been working hard. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. All right. Just don't want to be misunderstood, that's all. Things will be better for us after tonight. Well, of course they will. Gus is a fine fellow. And about the money, darling. You won't need I... it. Those curtains are a lovely present. Now, the wedding's at 8 o'clock. You better come right home. I'm nervous enough without having to wait for you. But, darling, the hey, point wait, is... Wait, more of that meat? Wait a minute. Uh, I, 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 I want to guess I got a hollow leg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Betty. Just a little more meat, Betty, if you got it. How about some milk, Betty? Oh, say, friend, could you tell me where to find Jim Halsey? Uh, yeah, he's cleaning out tank number two, down there. Uh, thank you, thank yeah. you very much. Halsey, have you... Oh. Yeah, come on in. Yeah. Okay. You got the dough? Well, I, I, I did speak to my daughter. But haven't you heard she's getting married tonight? Well, that's hardly the time. But today, uh, to, tomorrow, or the day after? Tomorrow, I'll... the day after my eye. You've been giving me that for weeks. You go to that son-in-law of yours. Okay, I will. I, I promise you I'll go tomorrow. Tomorrow, I... tomorrow. That's all I can get. Tomorrow. I think maybe you'll get that money tonight. Look, Jim, don't you understand? I'm in... Look, you don't seem to think I'm serious about that dough. Oh, sure I do. I'm serious, too. I never let it think... Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing? Locking you in here to think it over. Oh, no, wait, you can't do that. Suppose they let the oil flow in here. Well, maybe I'll let you out before they do, and maybe I won't. Anyway, I'm leaving you in there till you decide to go to Gus about the dough. Oh, wait a minute. Don't joke about a thing like this. I'll see you in a few hours. Oh, no, I'm, wait a minute. I'll go to him any time. Hey, Jim, come on, come on. They might let the oil. Hey, cut it out. What, Jim? Hey, Jim? Come on, let me out of here. This must be dangerous. Hey, Jim?
Hey! Hey, Fonzie! All right, honey, turn around. <laughs> you know, it's good luck to be married in your ma's wedding gown. I hope so. <laughs> oh, this girl is driving me crazy. <laughs> oh, honey, you look like a real picture book bride. <laughs> I wish it was all over. Maybe that's Pop now. I'll go see. Oh, it's you, Gus. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm a little late. Uh, but trains is all late these days. Uh, I want you should meet the Reverend Stanislaus. Oh, you do. Dear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ain't she just like I tell you? You ain't supposed to see her before the wedding. I see her in my mind all day, all night. One more time gonna make some difference, eh? <laughs> Reverend, I'm crazy with love for my Betty. I understand all this. What you worried, Betty? Pop hasn't come home yet. Well, 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 well. well Hello oh, there, Reverend. It's oh. going to wait. Almost time for the wedding. Hugo don't come from job. I saw him at lunchtime. He said he'd come right home after work. Oh, that's all right. Now, don't worry. I've got an idea. I think I know where to find him. You just leave it to me. Yes, Joe, you'll find it. Sure. And don't you forget to come back, neither. Oh, Ma, don't silly. You don't think I'm going to miss the wedding after getting all spruced up like this, do you? <laughs> you leave it to me. I'll bring him right back. <laughs> sure. <laughs> don't worry, Betty. Joe will find him quick like anything. <laughs> Wedding? They're gonna come in pretty soon. I, I got to change quick. Come here, Excuse me. Yes. He didn't mind playing poker without dough. That two-bit fake deserves a lesson, and I'm teaching it to him. Anybody finds Hugo's locked in that tank, it means your job, Jim. Nobody's gonna say anything. Suppose they start flowing oil in there. Ah, number two tank ain't being used. What do you want, Oyster Eyes? Huh? Who, me? Oh, nothing, nothing. Go, go ahead, fellas. Go on, go on. I open. How about it, Reverend? Hey, Pete. I hope we don't gotta wait for Hugo and Jeff much longer. Now, I'm getting nervous. Oh, don't worry, Pete. Gus! What's the matter? Hugo's drunk? Do you know Jim Halsey? He's one of the field men. He locked you up in one of them big oil tanks. He says the tank is empty. Now, look, if they start to fill that tank up with oil, Hugo will get killed. Locked him up? Well, yeah. How we get him out? Well, Halsey can get him out. He's up at Lefty's. Don't say nothing. We'll get him out in a hurry. Excuse me, folks. Hey, you got Hugo locked up in the tank? Supposing I have. He owes me a lot of dough, and I'm teaching him a lesson. If you want to get him out right now, I'm going to knock your block off. I'll go, sir. Come on. Let's... Somebody hear me out there? Number one's filled. You better start flow on two. Fill number two? Right.
got Hugo locked in the tank and Gus is trying to get him out. Well, hop in. Tell me the rest on the way. I gotta get Pop. Got the key to that tank? Yeah. You keep it handy. I didn't do nothing to him. I just locked him in to teach him a lesson. I was gonna let him out. Yeah, if that oil starts flowing, you're gonna be facing a murder rap. Come on! on those folks. What's going on here? That girl is getting nervous as a filly in there. Why, Miss Hawkins? Where's Gus? Ain't Joel come back with Hugo yet? But he I came in a while ago and spoke to Gus, and then they both went out. Land sakes, first Hugo ain't here, then Joel ain't here, then Gus ain't here. You men are enough to make a rattlesnake roll up and bite yourself in the back. It's Pop, Mrs. something's Hawkins. happened to Pop. Oh, I know, oh, Annie. You go on back. You oh, stop oh, your oh, 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 I'm all right, honey. This is just oil, but Gus says hurt pretty bad. Oh, oh, Gus! Oh, give us a couple of chairs, please. Forgive me, baby, but I had an accident. Uh, here's a nothing for Gus. A couple of busted bones. A couple of busted bones, nothing. He had a bad fall. Concussion, fractured hip. I tried to take him to the hospital, but he insisted on being brought here. Sure. I gotta explain to my Betty. I spoil her wedding. I don't want she should be mad at me. Of course, I'm not mad at you. Are you satisfied? Come on, we gotta put you to bed. No, wait a minute. Why can't we have the wedding anyway? Would it hurt him, Doctor? It would only take five minutes. Five minutes wouldn't hurt him. All right, then let's, let's go ahead with it. Oh, he's wonderful. You love me so much, you want to have a wedding anyway. I don't think so, Betty. Why not? Oh, he's better we wait. I plenty strong. Get better in a few weeks. Then we have wedding way we plan. What you say? If that's what you want. <laughs> now my bones know they got to get better quick <laughs> for wedding. And they hurry up, hey, Doc? If we don't have any complications. I never saw such a stubborn man. Take him out, man. Easy now. Reverend, I'm sorry I wasted your trip. Not at all. I'll go along with you, Jeff. I'm staying in cheer a minute. She don't feel so good. Hey, I almost forget. Here's lots of food and drinks. Don't waste. Everybody have a good party on Gus, just the same. You had something to do with his getting banged up. I'll bet. Oh, I swear to goodness. Now, I didn't have a thing to do with it. Now, get. We got work to do fixing up a sick room. I'm, get. I'm going. I'm going. Hello, baby. I'm on my way with the lunch. Is anything I can do for you? Sure, Pets. You tell that guy Jeff not to be so snooty. Maybe somebody bust some bones for him. Then I don't go see him. You two will never grow up. <laughs> sure, I grow up. Someday I'm going to be old enough to get married. <laughs> uh, you know, Betty, this is the longest time when I was in bed since I was born. 
I was in bed then, too, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll tell Jeff you want to see him. Yeah. Uh. See Jeff around? Jeff? Uh, yeah, he's working down the tool house. Maybe I really was in love with him, I don't know, but we've made our obligations. I've got to go through with it. Yeah, I guess so. The only thing for me to do is clear out. Oh, no, Jeff. And this time for good. It's the best thing for all of us. I'll see Gus tonight. Tell him I'm leaving. Think up some reason. Just the man I want to see. Ludlow over number six has the flu. I wish you'd go over and relieve him until Jackson gets down to take over. Okay. Pete. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I had something I wanted to tell you, but I guess it'll keep for a couple of hours. down at number six right now. It's Jeff Lundy, busted leg. Wait a minute. 
Grab Jim Halsey when he comes through. Somebody shut off the steam valve and crashed a pipe down on Jim. I've got a hunch it was Halsey who did it. Hey, some water. I'll get him some water. Take it in. Wait a minute, Halsey. Why? What for? Hold on. What's, What's he done? We aren't sure. Jeff Lund has been hurt, and Halsey's got some explaining to do to the cops. You come on to the office, Halsey. Mama, Mama. What's he after that? Say, Mama, Jeff's hurt bad. What happened? Drill pipe fell on him and busted his leg. Oh, Atlanta Goshen, go get the doctor. Get the doctor, doctor quick. Doctor seen him. Come All right, then, then get me some linens. Yes. Oh, <clears throat> land, land, you think I was running a hospital. Betty, you go tell Gus. Come on, boys, bring him right in here. Don't worry now, Mama, the doctor's coming right over. Oh, that's good. I'll bring him in here now. Gently now, gently. Here, watch that corner. Look out for that soup on. Ma, don't worry now. I'll get the lemons. I'll get some hot water, too. Okay, come on, put him right down here, boys. Oh, come on. Easy now. Easy. Just easy, Ma. Uh, there, there we are. Be. All right, boys, now get out. I'll take care of him. There we go. Hurry up. i got to take care of him. Go on, get. Thanks, Ma. Go get yourself into trouble, didn't you? Oh, no, I'll take care of that. Oh, don't be a nanny. Go lay still. Anybody think I've never took care of a man before? Took care of plenty of them. old as you and younger. You heist yourself a little bit. Yeah. Uh, with me. There, now. You lay good and still, and I'll get you something hot to drink. Uh. Hey, Jeff! I hear they push you around a little. Yeah, just a little, Gus. I'll be okay. That ain't the way I hear it. I hear you can't take it no more. You don't got the old gazoom. Yeah, listen to who's talking about gazoom. A cracked hip and he's laid up for a whole month. I bet you I get well quicker than you do. It's a bet. How about 20 bucks, you cream puff? Okay. 20 bucks I get out of bed quicker than you do. I show you those cream puffs. Jeff, you all right? Okay. I've cracked a dozen bones in my time. Is it bad? Not the doc did a little hamstitching, that's all. Sorry this is gonna change my plans, Betty. Only till my leg gets better. Hey, Betty! Betty, come in here. I want to talk to you. Okay, Gus, I'll be right in. <laughs> you tell me you bring me Jim. <laughs> you sure bring him on a stretcher. No, I don't think so. Good. Hey, do you think he's going to get better quicker than before me? No, Scott, don't be selfish, Gus. I heard you make that bet. Oh, I don't care if I lose it. Not to Jeff. You take good care of him, maybe. You make him do like doctors say. Don't bother about me. I'm all right now. But uh, Jeff ain't so easy to handle. He's stubborn sometimes. I'm getting used to stubborn patients. You make him take his medicine, like small kids. You do that, eh, Betty? Yes, Gus, I will. You are so good, Betty. I love you till my heart chokes my windpipes. Betty. Hey, Gus! How do you feel today? I bet you won't be able to poison anybody down at that restaurant again. Listen, you mud slob. I feel better than you'll ever feel. You're through. You're going to end up in the old soldier's home. Yeah, well, that's better than ending up in the old lady's home like you. With an ear trumpet at that. Dad, rat it. Will you cut out that banging? If you two don't quit that racket, I'm going to bounce this skillet off in your noggin. See if you can quiet them cayuses. Thanks. Doctor told me to change the bandage today. You know, you're getting to be quite expert at that. You'll be getting up soon. Yeah. Have you told Gus yet about leaving? No. Ten thousand leaves are full. Ten thousand leaves are full. <clears throat> I got that too high. 
Five thousand leaves are falling. Here's a grocery list. Go down and get the things for me. Oh, my, I'll tuck it out in my... Look, Ma, don't you think it'd be a good idea? Now that the doc is here checking up on Gus and Jeff, don't you think it'd be good if he kind of gave me a good going over? My, my saccharelliac is killing me, and I haven't been feeling... You ain't uh, been feeling better in all your life than you are now. Now, Ma, how do you know how I'm feeling? Get! get, get, get. All right, all right. Don't do that. I'll go, I'll go. I'm through with you. You can get up today and go to work. Oh, thanks and that. You're the Santa Claus. Eh? <laughs> hey, uh, do me a big favor. What is it? You go to see Jeff, huh? Don't tell him nothing but I can get up. Mom's the word. Ah, thanks, Doc. <laughs> I got a bit I want to collect. <laughs> boy, oh boy, am I going to put a wall over that Jeff? Son of a gun. <laughs> I guess I've cured you for everything. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Doc. <Doc. laughs> well, you come out of it quickly. You're as good as new. Doc, I love you. Oh, by the way, don't say anything to Gus, will you? I don't want him to know I'm well yet. I never knew it was contagious. <laughs> what? Insanity. You cripple over there. How are you feeling today? Not so good today. How are you feeling, cripple? Oh, this thing will never heal. Me too! <laughs> hey, hey, I, I win the 20, 20 bucks. bucks. <laughs> you, I guess it's a standoff. Huh? Hey, you look a fine, Jeff. You don't look like you've been sick more than 20 years. Well, you look like a fat zombie yourself. <laughs> Thanks, pal. <laughs> Now I gotta go down to a restaurant and see how they get along so good without me. Ah, that place never needed it. They'll throw you out in your ear. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> and I'm gonna arrange to have a wedding tomorrow. This time, and nothing gonna stop us. See you later. Gus told me you were out of bed. Yes, yeah, sure. Good as new. I was afraid you'd be doing this. Jeff, I can't do it. I'm not going through with the wedding. You haven't told Gus that. Not yet. But you don't know what you're saying. He just got out of a sick bed. He's all hopped up about the wedding. I can't do it, Jeff. Seeing you here every day taking care of you, what do you suppose that meant to me? We've got to face it squarely, Jeff, and tell him the truth. And break his heart. Does that make sense? If I stay here, none of us will be happy. Does that make sense? Betty, I did a lot of thinking lying there in that bed. I know I was right the first time. I'm not the guy for you. You told me you loved me, but you made a mistake going away the first time. Well, I was wrong. I know it'll always be the same. I've got wings on my feet. Look, suppose you went away with me. In about two weeks, I'd leave you for some new oil field, a job that might take me to China or Siberia, any place. That's how I am. Yes, I'll get out and tell Gus I'm leaving. Hey, hey, put the ball down that end where they can reach it. Well, it's pretty in the middle. Put it down at the end. Say, what's eating them? He's acting kind of funny for a happy bridegroom. He's sore because Jeff's leaving. Oh, that's funny. Let me help you there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's better all around if I go. I understand, Jeff. I sort of had a hunch all along about you and Betty. Well, I guess I better get back to the rig. I'll see you before I leave tonight. Okay. What's this? Didn't you bring the new linen napkins? Well, that's all I could find. Hmm? Everything disappeared since I've been sick. Well, I don't know where they are. Yeah, that's like... Maybe Betty put them away in a trousseau. I'll be back. I wasn't that nervous as a bridegroom. Betty, do you... You're not going on trip. Wedding is tomorrow. Gus, I... I meant to tell you before I left, but... I 
can't marry you. This is the best way for all of us. All of us? You mean Jeff's going away? You're going away. You're going with him. Surely you're going away together. Oh, Gus, I'm not going with Jeff. I'm going alone. You've been in love with him, with Jeff. I've been like a blind man. All the time I planned to marry with you, you have been in love with Jeff. I am in love with Jeff. But I'm not going away with him, believe me. But I believe nothing. Because I'm a fool. I could have married you, Gus, but it wouldn't have been fair to you. You wouldn't have wanted me if you knew I was in love with someone else. I, I should have told you sooner, but I thought it would work out. You're right. I've been a big fool. All the time you make love right under my nose, I see nothing. Honest, Gus, there's been nothing between us. Jeff doesn't want me. He's running away from me. You've got to believe me. All the time we've been talking about marrying, about having kids. All the time you and Jeff have been laughing at me. My good friend, Jeff. I kill him. He doesn't laugh at Gus no more. Oh, Gus! 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 Crazy, he's going out to the field to kill Jeff. Jeff Nundy. Oh, he's Derek Man on rig number two. Hey, Jeff Nundy, where is that? He's up there. Hey, you can't go up there. But he's okay. That's Jeff's friend, Gus. Number two today. Oil from the ground brings lights and power and happiness to a lot of people. Gus said that once. Starting a new field down in Paraguay. Paraguay? Wings on your feet, huh? When are you leaving? Monday. You say it's pretty lonely down there. Oh, you'll be busy. Yeah, but. I found out that a guy can be busy and still be pretty lonely. Unless he has his wife with him. No, I guess it wouldn't be lonely if a guy had his wife with him. Mm -hmm. 